You also, I'm curious if either on the, well, it seems to me that on the system design side, you can accommodate a, a likely failure of subcomponents. And, and so much of the elegance of, let's say, a Falcon 9 or a Falcon 9 Heavy as, as an ultimate incarnation of this vision of how the rocket should be built to say, hey, parts will fail, thing, but here's how the system can succeed. And I'm curious if there's any other thoughts along that, how to, how to accommodate anticipated failure, and then also maybe inter, like in managerially, is there ways that you motivate the team either in advance of failure to, to coach them on, hey, this is going to happen, or in the aftermath of failure to get them fired up to solve it and, and move forward when it might be dark times. And like, for example, when you, the notion like failure to launch, uh, uh, you know, exploding on the pad, you know, there's all these, it, it's a very visual, it's public spectacle when you have a setback in the rocket industry. And I'm curious how you manage around failure. Uh, I mean, it, I think it's, it's like quite, quite painful and difficult, honestly. <laughs> um, and it's, it feels terrible. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, the company is sort of looking to, you know, me to, you know, rally them, and so uh, I do. Mm. Um, but I honestly feel super bad. It's like a punch in the gut? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I remember, it's almost like, a time, like the stages of grief, I remember, in Texas, it's kind of like, sort of denial, and then <laughs> you know, it sort of hits us at dinner. It's like, oh my God, what just happened? Yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean, it, it's particularly with rockets, it's, it's just a really, like, a, a, rockets, are, rockets, space is hard, and rockets tend to fail, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, even when you've got, like, a lot of really smart people working super hard to minimize the probability of failure, it's still, it's still there, and it's, um, and it's, you know, it's, it's quite significant. Um, and, um, you know, people have asked me, like, well, why, why are rockets, you know, especially hard? Um, and, and the, the, you know, part of it is, like, everything has to work the, the first time. Like, there's, there's no, you can't do a recall, you can't patch it. It's got, it's like nine minutes to orbit or it's over. <laughs> um, and, uh, and then the, the, the you, you know, you can't, you can never test the rocket completely in the environment that it's actually going to experience. Mm -hmm. so you, you can't fully recreate something that's moving super fast in a vacuum um, on the surface of Earth. Like, you can only really rec recreate that on, in space. Is that a limit of the simulation tools? What do you mean? Is that a limit of the simulation tools today, or is that a fundamental? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the, if, if, the, if there's any error between the simulation and reality, and there's always some amount of error, mm -hmm. um, then, then that, that can result in a failure. Yep. Um, so, it's a really, really tricky one. It's like, um, in a software analogy, it would be like, if you had to write a whole bunch of software modules um, and you can never run them together um, you, and you couldn't run them on the target computer. Like, like when you're testing them, you'd have to test them individually mm -hmm. and not in the actual computer that they're going to run on. Gotcha. Then you put, them, put all the modules together, run it for the first time in a, in a completely different or very different computer, and it has to run with no bugs. <laughs> that is difficult. Yeah. The, the software analogies to rocket design are deep, uh, the modular reuse, I mean, there's many of these, like, for those who aren't familiar with, it's not like this is an aerospace engineer by traditional training coming, but, but is in fact radically changing the industry. I think applying a CS perspective to industry after industry, I'm like, how would, how would you know, a computer scientist or a physicist approach the problem, which oftentimes is a solution very unlike the industry incumbents. There's, there's a certain elegance to it, um, at least from the outside, outside observer like myself. Um, 